Good morning friends. I am Ashish Agarwal from Team NGO Enabler and today whatever I am going to discuss is a highly controversial topic but simultaneously what I feel is that it's only a matter of interpretation and different experts might have different views on this matter. For most of the FCRA organizations the registrations are getting expired this financial year on 31st October and for some even on 30th September. What have started worrying them is the confusion as to whether after the expiry of the registration they will be able to continue receiving foreign funds and also utilize the funds already lying unutilized in their bank accounts. So through our interpretation of FCRA rules on renewal of registration I have tried to develop more clarity on the topic what will happen after the expiry of FCRA registration if the renewal is awaited. Before I move on to the topic, let me remind you that post the FCRA amended rules 2020, the time limit for filing the renewal application is within six months before the date of expiry and not six months before the date of expiry. It is within six months before the date of expiry. So the due date in our view for those organizations whose registration is getting expired on 31st October 2021 can set it to be 30th October 2021 itself. The same has been clearly explained while example in note 1 to sub rule 6 of rule 12. So it becomes quite obvious that for most of the organizations the renewal process might not be completed before 31st October 2021 because the due date for filing renewal application itself is within 31st October 2021. So an organization can file an application even on 30th October 2021 and it's practically not possible to get the certificate renewed in a single day. Moreover, the amended rules have also empowered the department to conduct enquiry before renewal in those cases where it may deem fit, which might further delay the process of renewal this year. Anyways, coming back to the topic, if we carefully read sub rule 5 of rule 12, as laid down in Foreign Contribution Regulation Rules 2020, it states that no person whose certificate of registration has ceased to exist shall either receive or utilize the foreign contribution until the certificate is renewed. So it is clear that once the registration ceases, the entity can neither receive nor utilize the foreign contribution. Now to develop more clarity on the words ceased to exist, we need to deeply analyze sub rule 6 of rule 12 along with accompanying note of the said sub rule. Sub rule 6 states that if no application for renewal of registration is received or the application is not accompanied by requisite fee before the expiry of the validity of the certificate of registration, the validity of the certificate of registration shall be deemed to have ceased from the date of completion of the period of five years from the date of the grant of certificate of registration. Note 2 of sub rule 6 further clarifies the same with an example that if an application for renewal is not made or is not accompanied with the requisite fees, the validity of the certificate shall be deemed to be seized from the date of expiry. A clear cut inference can be drawn that the registration shall be considered as seized only when the following two conditions are not met before the date of expiry. The renewal application is not filed within the time limit or the application so filed was not accompanied with the renewal fees. So considering both the rules discussed that is sub rule 5 and sub rule 6 of rule 12, it can be said that a FCRA registered organization can continue to receive the foreign contribution as well as utilize 
the unutilized foreign funds even after the expiry of the registration. I repeat, it can be said that the FCRA registered organization can continue to receive the foreign contribution as well as utilize the unutilized foreign funds lying in their bank account even after the expiry of the registration provided the renewal application along with the payment of renewal fees have been filed within the prescribed time limit that is before the expiry of the validity. Moreover, don't you think the intention of the law might also have been the same? Else, the activities of such FCRA registered organizations shall come to a complete standstill if they are neither allowed to receive the funds nor utilize the funds already received earlier and lying unutilized. Also, when they have made all the necessary compliances for renewal of registration as laid down in the relevant act and rules, then why penalize them by putting on hold the receipts and the payments? Now, the banks might play an important role here who might suomoto try to seize the account of the FCRA organizations after 31st October 2021 till the renewal is granted. But does the bank have the authority to do so unless directed by MHA is a big question mark because nothing has been explicitly laid down in the act or rules regarding this matter. Many experts have expressed an alternate view that the organizations cannot receive or utilize the foreign contribution until the registration is renewed. Some experts are also of an opinion that the organization cannot receive any further funds till the renewal is granted but can continue to utilize the funds already received earlier. However, we on the other hand are of a completely different view based on our interpretation of the rules as discussed earlier in this video and for us the organizations can continue receiving as well as utilizing the foreign contributions even after the expiry of the registration provided the renewal application has been made on time along with payment of renewal fees. For more such updates, keep tuned and subscribe to our channel and for any queries feel free to contact us. I would also like to share with my viewers that Team NGO Enabler is soon coming up with their new website making it a lot more useful and relevant for our NGO partners. Thank you.